magnet. Your lips as pure as paint. And when she snuckered them up to kiss you, so it was like a renaissance going to drink. <laughs> she wasn't allowed to look at, but she really didn't seem to care. And I had to learn a court of woman. And I had to start somewhere. Now when you go courting for the fourth time, like you can't make a pile of plans, you kiss a girl with your lips. But where do you put your hands? <laughs> and the more I thought about it, it can't be that hard to do. Like when you start to ride a bike at four, she'll fall off a time or two. <laughs> I was living with me uncle, he kept me for a grand. He had no, I had no da or ma, you see. Someone took advantage of me aunt. And me uncle couldn't advise me for the man he didn't know. He had no time for women, and for boys he was just slow. He was always very religious, and each morning went to chapel. And when he heard how Adam and Eve behaved, should he never eat an apple? <laughs> but somehow I was different, as you might understand. The wee boy inside me was trying to be a man. I had me iron women, but Maggie wasn't one, to be honest and truthful about it. Like, she wasn't in great demand, but she always seemed to be aided, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like the man that had two wheel balance. She was almost the best one he's wheel away. <laughs> My thoughts were still with Maggie, and I thought I might ask her out. So I plucked up a bit of courage this evening, and brave and late. And because I didn't, she agree to meet me, down by the Medigate. That night I was very nervous, for I feared that big old hag. And she said, I thought you were going to let me down, now she shrugged out her woodbine fag. <laughs> ah, so we talked about the water, and if her father sold the hay. And she said, that's enough of that small talk. It's time you and I did play. So she threw her arms around me and she jammed me again the gate. You young woman was full of passion. She simply couldn't wait. And before her lips had touched me own, she started for the suck. And you know, she reminded me of these things that takes the goats out of a duck. <laughs> I was getting very nervous for I was very young when she started to do these queer things with her big young tongue. She wriggled it around me mouth and me jaws was getting sore. <laughs> and today she's going to steal me supper that I talked to hours before. <laughs> and through all this procedure I dare close me eyes to say she's a cannibal or else she has no way. But the only thing that I could see was her cheek as red as her own. And it was getting very hard to breathe through one author and look me down. But the other one was jammed tight against her big fat cheek. Then she stops herself, stops herself to get her breath, and to me she did speak. Why, well, you're very modest. That's very plain to see. Take your hands out of your pockets and put them up round me. Ah, shall I like what she was doing? And I did what I was told. Me two arms wouldn't go around her. So I huddled up instead, for I was getting into the swing of things like what she was trying to do. And although I was young and innocent, I was learning a thing or two. For she cut me hand on places that I never knew I did. And I couldn't wait to tell me uncle all the things he did. <laughs> Next morning, I, I told him what Maggie and I did do. And I started dating Maggie, and so did me uncle too. <laughs> I was a bit annoyed at first, but says hey, he never sticks the pace. There's only going to be one winner in this two horse race. And sure enough, there would only be the one. I was dropped like a hot potato. Uncle Chewy was the man. What he did do, what he did do that I did not, or was he always cute, or was he down that road before? The dirty sly old brute. I never thought I'd live to see the day would come to pass. When my uncle would lay on in bed, and we didn't go to mass, and I can hear them in the other room, and he's getting more not kisses. He has a ring on Maggie's finger, and the neighbours call her missus. And when I reminisce on my first kiss, why did I ever tell me uncle Chewy? For now I live to rue it. For I can no longer call him uncle. I have to call him da. And it really breaks me heart in two. I have to call Big Maggie Ma. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole lot of it.